morning folks, thanks for tuning in to the FFC video workouts and our shoulders and core. As always, we're going to do a bit of handstands, we've got some progressions and regressions there for you, so don't worry if you can't do them. If you want, skip forward about two minutes past this introduction and then get into the workout. If you want to listen to the progressions and regressions, hang on and I'll go through them. So today, we've got three sections, handstands, we go through that three rounds, then our second section, we've got a flow into some core two rounds there, then our last one is another flow into some core and just one round there. So if you need to get your head around each flow, just pause the video, watch it, take your time and then get into it. Hope you enjoy this. Let's get into the progressions and regressions. Alrighty, starting with our easiest progression of the handstand, it's just the pike. So possibly the hardest part of this is going to be your hamstring length, so working on your hamstring flexibility will probably be your first port of call. But then, once you've got that, you work your way into this. You want to try and get up on the tippy toes, take as much weight through those shoulders as you can, and less and less through those legs. Once you've gotten that one, you can move into the next progression. Even starting just getting your head around, having your feet on the seat is fine, and then getting the hips up as high as you can. You want to try and keep those hands back, Let's feet forward and those hips high as you can. So basically taking no weight through those toes up there. From there, we progress to the wall. Get as close to the wall as you can, pushing up. I don't worry about looking at the floor. Here I focus more on opening up through the shoulders. Push the ground away, point those toes and squeeze those glutes. Bring those ribs in so that we're not getting an arch through the back. Uh, pushing those hips up into the air. Next progression will be face to the wall and just 90 degrees. So with a broken finger at the moment, I can't use that to balance. Um, usually you would grip the ground a little bit and push in with the ends of your fingers to find that balance. So it's a little bit harder here. And still do it without the balance, hips up higher, and when you're able to balance, you can start practicing taking one foot off the wall and finding that balance, then exchanging each leg. That's it, let's get into our workout. So, let's start with some swings. Big rotations with those arms. And rotations through the spine. At the start of the session when I do these swings, I'll do them with a little bit more momentum, get a bit more of a dynamic stretch and try and get the blood to flow a little bit more. When I do these at the end, I do them a little bit more gently and just focus on moving the spine nice and gently and focusing on the breath there. So slowing down the heart rate as opposed to speeding it up. And back to centre. Leg swings, we're gonna go for six straight and then we're gonna do six across the body. So when you go across the body, don't turn your body and kick straight to the, to the left or the right, but keep your feet as um, pointing forward as much as you can, rotate the body. So we'll go six straight, one leg, one, two, three, four, and think that you're lifting up through a marionette string from the crown of your head, And then across the body, rotate and feel that stretch down through the glutes, down the side of the leg. One more, and onto the other side. One more, and then across the body. 
rotate. Last one. Beautiful. Getting to the bottom of your mat, opening up through the chest. As I go through this, I'm really rotating the thumb back, so I'm externally rotating the shoulders, opening up through the pecs. Feel that stretch through the biceps, bend through the neck, all the way up, then roll down through each vertebra, all the way, hands to the ground, left hand to the ground, right hand up, nice big rotation, lower back, and onto the other side. Big rotation. Both hands on the ground, walk out to downward facing dog, stretching through those shoulders, and then pedal out those ankles. Bring yourself to a high plank, into our scapular protraction and retraction, either on the knees or on the toes, is up to you. Keep those elbows straight, push the ground away, we'll hold for four, three, two, one, then pull those shoulder blades together, push them apart again, hold for four, three, two, one, pull those shoulder blades together, push them apart, hold for four, three, two, one, together, and apart, suck the belly button in, three, two, one, we'll go four more, pull the shoulder blades together, push them apart, squeeze the glutes, three, two, one, three more, one, two, Three, four, two more. Five, two, three, four. Last one. Five, two, three, four. Drop those knees to the ground. Turn those fingers back towards your knees. And just opening up through the wrists. You can just rock forward and backwards. Lovely. Then taking those fingers, pointing inwards, palms facing up, and we'll just go side to side. Stretching around the top of those wrists. And pausing over the top, and we'll go for our clench of the fists and extend for five. Clench, keep those elbows locked straight and extend for four. Clench and extend three. Clench and extend two. Clench and extend for one. Last one. Clench and extend, shake off those wrists. Beautiful. All right, back to all fours. Extend, bird dog, bring your elbow to your knee and extend for 10. So watch out that you're not bending that lower back, but keeping it quite straight. And let's go. Step nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, ten, squeeze those glutes, really activate them. Nine, trying to keep the spine and the ribs still, but lifting the foot and the hand as high as you can. Two more. Last one. And down onto the ground. Hands out to the side, lift the sternum off the ground, big circles back for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the other direction. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake off those arms, coming up to standing, and just really simply taking the hands up, deep squat, a few reps opening up those hips, getting a little bit more movement, taking those hands up as high as you can, so we're building that tension and strength through the back. One more, and shake it off. Let's get into our first round of exercises. So we've got a build up with each round of 30 seconds on our first handstand, 45 seconds on our second, one minute on our last. If you have to come down within that minute, that's totally fine. Kick yourself up when you're ready. Make sure it's safe. Make sure if you're doing those handstands against the wall or even freestanding, that you keep those ribs in. Squeeze those glutes and try and lengthen the lower back. Get your hands back as much as you can there. If you're doing this for the first time, you're doing your pike or doing it with your feet on the seat. Try and get those um, hips all the way up. Um, and then you've got your back against the wall there. So we've got that one. Then we're in two. Onto the floor. Hollow body hold for 30 seconds. This is the smallest hollow body hold. You can extend and make it as long as you can. Sucking the belly button into the ribs, into the spine, sorry, into the um, spine down to the ground. If it comes off the ground, you want to bring it back in, try and get the spine down. 30 seconds there. Then we've got 30 seconds flutter. Then we've got 30 seconds alternating toe tap. So using sporting arm on the ground and the other hand coming up, kicking 30 seconds there. Three rounds of that. That's it. Let's get ready to handstand into your positions in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. And if you are against the wall, see if you can find some balance there. You need to bend the hands. So you bend those fingers a little bit. And coming down onto the ground into our first hollow body. Knees in. Start and extend if you can. You can have a rest there, Walter. And come down into your hollow body. Beautiful, guys. And Tash, if you want to roll down a little bit so the back's pushing into the ground, it's just the shoulder blades off the ground there. So it's just this little dish shape, sucking the belly button in. And we're going straight into our flutter kicks here. Keep those shoulder blades off the ground, so that entire lumbar spine is still pushed into the ground, so we're not overworking the hip flexors. Try and lift those shoulders off the ground. Beautiful, guys. Five seconds. And then moving to our alternating toe tap. So we come up. And over to the other side, let's go. Use that supporting arm to push it to the ground, help you up. Good, you guys. Doing well. Five seconds. Oh, Alrighty, back 
back into our handstand, shake off those wrists. 45 seconds on this handstand. Shake off those shoulders in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Push the ground away, whether you're in the pike handstand, feet on the seat handstand, feet against the walls, or even free balancing, push that ground away. Fifteen seconds to go. Squeeze those glutes, try to bring those ribs in a little bit tighter. See if you can come off the wall a little bit. Five seconds, three, two, one. Beautiful guys coming down into our hollow body. Still 30 seconds of each exercise on this core. Let's go. Really lift those shoulders off the ground, suck the belly button in. Beautiful guys. Looking good if you start feeling the belly button pushing out, sucking in even more. Lift those shoulders up a little bit higher. Doing well. In three, two, one. Into our flutter kicks. Let's go. Lift those shoulders off the ground. You're feeling those abs already. Doesn't take long, 15 seconds. If you find that you're craning your neck too much, you cradle your head. Five seconds. Beautiful guys. All right, into our alternating toe tap. Take those hands directly out to the side for this. And let's go. Looking good, guys. And one more. All right, folks. Quickly rolling over. Quick and stretching those abs because they need it before we go to our last handstand, which is one minute long. All right, are you ready? Let's get going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. One minute on this handstand. Push the ground away. Thirty seconds to go, halfway. Squeeze those glutes, suck those ribs in as much as you can. Try and take your head, if you're against the wall, don't worry about looking at the floor. Try and take the head through the shoulders, the opposite side, so you're really opening up those shoulders, not closing them off. Ten seconds to go. Push the ground away. And down we come. Alrighty, into our hollow body. Last round, let's do it. Beautiful guys. Point those toes, suck the belly button in. Keep pulling it in, keep pulling those shoulder blades off the ground. We've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Beautiful guys. Into our flutter kicks. Lift those shoulders off the ground. Point those toes. And let's go. 
Lift your shoulders a little higher. Suck the belly in a little bit more. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. Hands directly out to the side. Last exercise of this section. Let's do it. And one more. Folks, roll on those bellies, stretch out those abs. Section one is down. Have a little stretch, have a little sip of water as I take us through our next section. So we're gonna start with a two minute flow. Starting the downward facing dog, we move through this quite quickly. High plank, lower to hover. Two. Three, push yourself back, staying low to the ground. Bring your right foot forward, lift up. Bring your left foot forward, lift up. Back to a push up, plyometric push up if you can. Back to downward facing dog. Wild thing, back bend, back over. Wild thing, back bend, onto the other side. One more time. Downward facing dog. High plank, lower to hover, three, two, one, push yourself back, bring yourself forward, with a lunge, push up, the plyometric push up if you can, wild thing, back bend, wild thing, back bend, that's it, then we roll over, 30 second core again, feet in the air, big rotations to our Russian twist, Continuing on, hitting the obliques, ankle taps, keep the shoulders as high as you can, reach all the way down, then we've got reverse crunch, up with leg extension. Well, last one. So two minutes on our flow, 30 seconds for those three exercises, two rounds of this section. That is it, I'll talk through the flow to start us off. Getting into a downward facing dog in three, two, one. And let's go. Downward facing dog, high plank, lower to hover, pulse for three, two, one. Push yourself back. Bring your right foot forward into a lunge, right hand up, then left, up, then into a push up, a plyometric push up, up, downward facing dog, knee in and over, four. Wild things, other side. And again, downward facing dog. High plank, lower to hover. Three, two, one, back. Right foot forward, right hand up. Other side. Into a push up. Downward facing dog. Wild thing over the top. Big back bend. And the other side. One minute down, usual. Down to a hover. One, two, three, then push it back. Beautiful guys, right hand up. Then the left. Then the push up. Then the wild thing. And the other side. Big stretch there. Thirty seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five. 
five seconds. And change into our abs. Alrighty guys, into our Russian twist. Sitting on our bums, feet off the ground. Let's go. Big rotation. Make sure both hands are touching the floor with each rotation. Ten seconds. Five to go. And down onto our backs. Ankle taps. Side to side. Let's go. Keep the shoulders high. Suck the belly button in. Try and move the spine as much as you can. All the way through your lumbar to your thoracic. But try not to move your head so much. Keep the neck a little bit more still. Try and reach with the bend of that lumbar and thoracic spine. Beautiful guys. Alrighty, reverse crunches with the extension. Let's do it. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds, then we're back to the floor. One more round. All right, we flip it over. Back to our floor. Back to our downward facing dog. Straight into it. Downward dog. High plank. Lower to hover. Pulse. Three, two, one. Push yourself back. Fall into a lunge. Rotate. Lunge, rotate, push up, and the wild things. Downward facing dog, high plank, lower to hover, pulse, three, two, one, push it back. And up, and up. If you want to spend any more time on any particular move here, you can. If you want to spend more time in the back bend, go for it. If you want to spend more time in the pulse, that's totally fine too. Big rotation with that lunge. Big rotation with that lunge. Maybe we want to add a couple more push-ups to the mix. That's totally fine. Doing well. Keep it going, guys. Let's do about 35 seconds. Twenty-five seconds to go. Another 10 seconds, keep it going, keep it going. Five seconds. And folks, finish it off. Onto our backs, into our Russian twist. Let's go, feet up. 30 seconds. Once we finish the timer on this one, we'll go straight to the ankle taps, no rest. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, onto our backs, into our ankle taps.
Doing well, guys. 15 seconds. Once the timer goes on this one, no rest, straight into reverse crunches. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse crunches. Beautiful work, guys. Ten seconds. And folks, shake it off. A little moment to breathe. Alrighty, grab some water if you need it. I definitely do. The last round, the last section is just one round. Two minute flow into a two minute plank with a reach touch. So, five shoulder press push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Downward facing dog. Right knee to right elbow, kick it up for a float. Onto the other side, left knee to left elbow, kick it up for a float. Then we're hopping in. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into our shoulder press. Five shoulder press, one, kick up into a float on each side, then five hops in. Repeat for two minutes, then straight down into a plank. If you were doing a two minute plank, okay, with the last round, you, the last session we did last week, you can add reaches here. So with the reach, think about balancing a glass of water on your back, so you're not twisting and turning too much, but trying to keep that quite still. That's it. One round in this section to finish this off. All right, five seconds into our shoulder press. Three, two, one, let's go five reps. One, two, forehead all the way down to the ground. Do a downward facing dog, right knee to right elbow. Kick that right leg up, then onto the other side. Left leg up, then our hops. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to the shoulder press. Fingers pointing in, forehead to the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Right knee to right elbow and kick it up. Other side. Left knee to left elbow and kick it up. Into our hops. Five, four, three, two, one, back to the top, one minute down, forehead touching the ground, reach, shoulder press. Downward facing dog, knee to elbow, kick it up, other side. Then hops, one, four, three. One, 30 seconds to go. Feeling those shoulders. Shake off those shoulders. All right, into our plank. Let's do it, two minutes. Add a reach in there. If you were getting a two minute plank last week. Oh. 
Two more guys. Forty five seconds down. One minute to go. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Folks, shake it off. Good work today. Wonderful work. Grab yourself some water. We've made it through the workout. And I am sweating. For those of you who need to run off out of here, Thank you for joining me. Do stretch those wrists, those shoulders and those necks. Uh, for those that can hang around, let's get down to the ground and start with a nice cactus stretch opening up through the chest. Whew. All right, right hand out to the side, bend that right elbow to 90 degrees. Take the left foot over the top, big stretch through the pecs. On to the other side. Marching up through those pegs. Beautiful, guys. Alrighty, back to centre. Push yourself back through child's pose. Lengthen that lower back, then walk your hands to one side, outside the mat, pull back and away from it. We're going off to one angle, you should feel that down through the lats, so walking both hands out to one side of the mat, pulling back and away from it. And walking those hands over the other side. <clears throat> and bring those hands back to center. Bring ourselves up to a cat cow. We'll turn our fingers pointing back towards our knees for this, so we stretch through the wrists at the same time. 
flexing all the way up. Think about that flexion of the spine from our tail all the way to our crown. Flexion through our cat pose and extension down through our cow pose. Big stretch all the way up through the neck. Back to centre. Bring your hands facing forward again and big barrel roll. So we'll go all the way in a anti-clockwise direction. If I'm doing anti-clockwise, which I'm not. Uh, big circles, whichever direction you're going. And reverse that direction. Big stretch through the spine. Back to centre, hips up through downward facing dog. And stretch those ankles. Walk those feet to your hands. Grab the backs of your legs for a nice long hamstring stretch. From here, you can also pull up. So you're trying to get into that cow pose, essentially but into this hamstring stretch and then fold it down a little bit deeper. You can just oscillate between the two exercises to try and get the chest up. You're really pulling those hamstrings and then flex down a little bit more. Bend those knees, roll up through the spine. Lovely folks, grabbing your right foot in your hand, stretching out the quads. Even though we haven't worked them today, we have worked them a lot this week and I'm feeling that we probably need to release them a little bit more. With this stretch, I've got quite a bit of length through these meat axe cords of mine. So I need to use this as a dynamic stretch. I'm pulling against this to get a deeper stretch into this. If I go too relaxed, I don't get such a stretch. And onto the other side. Breathing into it. And release. Take the right hand around the back, grab that right hand, drop both shoulders down and drop the left ear to the left shoulder. And onto the other side. Bring the right ear down. And shake it off. Finishing with our breathing. So we've taken focus of what this is to expand and contract through the belly how that changes our adrenaline and cortisol, allows our body to go into a rest and digest by breathing in through the nose, expanding, slowing it down. <clears throat> in Chinese medicine, in Qigong practice, which is an energy practice, we're also bringing in that scattered energy into a storage point, which is your center, which is your dantian. So we're bringing that in there. So focusing that energy back into this storage port, Breathing it in, so still focusing on that slow breath, roughly around four counts in through the nose, four count hold, four to eight count out through the nose if you can. And bringing that attention to the energy 
coming in to be stored in our center. In Chinese medicine, that's our Dantian. Continue focusing on that breath, and we're going to take some big circles around the belly. Doesn't matter which direction we'll go. Big circles massaging through the organs, focusing on that breath. the direction taking those hands together any of that excess energy that we have Bring it into the hands. And I've been bringing this practice in to take those over those eyes. And it just serves as a reminder. I find that in this period of time, my vision becomes more kind of pinpointed and focused on the negative, focused on the one perspective. So each time I do this, I just remind myself to look at the world through a different lens, from a different perspective. And then to take the time to make those decisions from my heart and to listen to my gut. Take those hands together. Take those hands to the kidneys where we detox and flush the system. So it reminds me to eat well, to breathe well to think well, to drink lots of water, to look after my physical body. And we'll finish with some pats down on the inside of our legs. So we can hit some yin points in Chinese medicine. Our yin points are on the center, bring it all the way up to our chest. And then up through, pats through the head and back down on the inside of the arm. After doing a yang practice, we're just stimulating those yin points to stop, rest, digest, shake off any tension that we don't need. And folks, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the session. I'm looking forward to Monday. Um, I'll send out an email on Sunday. There's the mini workouts, there's the uploads for you to do um, to practice. Remember, with the mini workouts, shoot me an email. What do you want to see? I've got some people wanting to do some upper body mini workouts, some people wanting to do some meditation mini workouts. Um, so let me know if there's anything that you want to see there. Awesome, guys.